Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I thank the gentleman from Arizona for yielding. And um, I would point out here we seem to talk in abstract terms about what is really going on. This is a demonstration of dilation, dismemberment, and evacuation that's taking place in the District of Columbia and across this country. Mr. Speaker, here is what takes place. There's a dilation of the cervix. We had testimony of, uh, of Dr. Levento, who showed his tools, reaches in and pulls a leg off of this little baby, and pulls it out and puts it on a plate, reaches in and pulls another leg off, does the same thing. He, he reminded us this isn't an easy process. It's difficult to do so. You've got to pull hard, then reach in and grab another piece of the torso and pull that out until you count up all the pieces on the plate and you get down to this little baby's head. Where the head, there's a special tool to squeeze that little baby's head and crush that head and then pull it out. Who, who of us could watch such a procedure? Who of us could, could conduct such a procedure? Who of us? Dr. Levento did hundreds of times in his testimony, but his little girl died and he took two weeks off and came back to work again thinking he was going to commit other abortions and he got halfway through and he said I looked at that pile of goo on the plate and I realized that's somebody's daughter this is somebody's daughter this is somebody's son this is a little baby this is a little miracle of life this is God's image being torn apart and dismembered and placed on a plate and I'm hearing that it's a constitutional right to do such an abhorrent thing it's ghastly it's ghoulish and it's and it's and it's the worst thing that I can think one could put their hand to. If you can't watch it, you sure can't do it. I yield back.